In another one of our 12 month taste testings, I'm going to do a taste test of a batch of coffee wine that I made. We're going to find out if it was worth the wait. Hi, I'm Charles, the local DIY fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Okay, our 12 months are up. It's now time to go ahead and give this one a taste. DIY fermentation coffee wine, born for 2021, ABV of 11.81%, and it's been pasteurized. All right, from the onset, I mean, it's not clear. It's it's pretty cloudy. I mean, not pretty cloudy. It's it's it's, it's hazy. I'll put it to you that way. Um, but trying to make this a very short video, we're just going to cut to the chase on this one. Break up my favorite winged corkscrew. <laughs> hmm. The initial sniff, to find out if I've made vinegar or not, indicates that there is a slight coffee aroma coming from this. I'm going to pour myself yay much. I mean, there's no sediment on the bottom, so I did a good job of making sure that this was as clear as it's going to get. Taking a good whiff, you don't get like a a heavy coffee aroma like you would with like a fresh pot of hot black coffee or anything like that. Uh, it's a bit on the light side. Once you get the right whiff, you can detect that small amount of alcohol that. Nearly 12% alcohol on the, on the back of the back of the nose, but what it looks like and what it smells like is not the same thing as what it tastes like. So let's go ahead and taste what we made here. First impressions. It's not as back sweet as I thought it was. It's a, it's a touch on the dry side, which is fine because w with my coffee, I just like my coffee black. Okay, maybe every now and then I might put in a little cream for variety's sake, but I like my coffee black. This, With this one, you're almost tempted to say that you're not quite sure you're really drinking coffee. Uh, the coffee flavor is, I mean, it, it's, it's there, but it's, it's just a, it's just very light. Uh, it does have a, a, a fair amount of dryness on the tongue. Um, um, I think also I can say that the amount of acidity could have been adjusted downward a notch, uh, which is probably the recommendation that I'll make in the uh, change that I'll make in the original ingredients list on the original video <laughs> that I did a year ago. Um, but it, overall, it just has a very dry feeling on your mouth. I mean, it's not, it's not bone dry or anything like that. I mean, there is a, a, a level of sweetness there, but uh, it just leaves your the, the, the middle and back of your tongue, just like a very dry sensation. I mean, overall, my impressions of this is that, I mean, it's okay, sort of thing. Uh, uh, I'm glad I tried it, uh, just to see that I could make something I've never heard of called coffee wine before. Uh, I'm sure there are probably improvements that can be made to this recipe uh, that I'll probably indicate, as I said before, in the original video ingredients list in the description section of that video. Uh, not very many changes. Uh, bump the acidity down a bit. 
Personal preference would be increase the amount of uh, uh, back sweetening uh, a tad. But even with all of that having been said, I mean, overall, Yeah, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, it's not terrible. It's not bad. Uh, it's not something that I would never make again. Uh, it might be a while before I do make this again, though, because I'm not really that impressed with coffee wine, apparently. I don't know, maybe uh, somehow increasing the amount of coffee flavor or uh, by processing the beans, maybe adding instant coffee to, uh, to help uh, things out a bit. I mean, there's no real bitterness per se. No, I really wouldn't call it bitterness. I'm picking up more of the um, acidity than bitterness, if, if, if at all. So yeah, uh, short video, my general impressions on the batch of uh, coffee wine that I made uh, 12 months ago. With all my videos, I'm, if I make it, I'm gonna at least taste it. Um, and, um, yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> uh, so there, if you like what you see here, please click on the subscribe and notify buttons and, uh, I'll continue to do these, uh, more often. I've got quite a number of batches of wine that, uh, that are slowly coming of age and will require taste testing. So if I make it, I'm going to taste it. Simple as that. It might not, all, might not all be in the same video like, like some of the other channels can do, but uh, uh, if you wait around for it, uh, it will get done. So until then, I'll see you in the next video.